Hey everyone, my name's Du. In this video, we're going to talk about Cami's second set of creation tools, excluding comment. That one's going to be saved for another video just because there's so much in that feature. We're going to talk about markup, text box, and equation today. Currently, I'm in the markup tab right here. And what I have at my disposal is a text highlighter, a box highlighter, a strike through, an underline, and a set of color options. The first option here is the text highlighter. You can pick a color and then go ahead and highlight it. And it's going to go ahead and highlight the whole phrase for you. This is a good example here because there's a lot of text. I'm going to start highlighting this first sentence. And it's just going to highlight it in the color that I chose. Another option is the box highlighter. I can go ahead and box multiple different sentences at, at once. And it's going to be nice and fast. The next option for you in the markup is the strike through. Say there's something you want to admit from a paper or something like that or some detail that you are editing with your students and you just want to get rid of it and strike it out. Same thing, highlight it and it's going to strike it out for you. Very nice, very quick, very easy. The underline option is for important details and such. So I'm going to highlight this first sentence right here. And it's going to go ahead and underline it. Very nice and clean looking. Of course, you have your color options at the bottom. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is the text box feature. You're going to use this quite a bit with your students. Uh, it's very easy to use when you click on it. You have your point feature here for the font. Maybe you want something pretty big. And then color features as well. Uh, custom colors at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click there. And that's my text box. You'll notice up at the top you have a lot of font features and your regular word processing options. I'm going to change it to Open Sans and just start typing. This is the main paragraph. All right. Yeah. Nice, big, easy to see. I've got, of course, again, like I said, options to change things up, to center things, to link things if you want. Of course, there's a nice speech feature as well. You can see that I'm currently talking right here using this microphone button and I'm going to press enter and there it is ready for me to go, ready for me to move wherever I want. All right, the last feature we're gonna look at is the equation feature. Again, you have your font size here and then a new different type of uh, icon shows up. It looks like the pi icon. If I click on that, I get a bunch of math symbols. I can even search for it right up here. But these are some commonly used math symbols that you might not be able to type very easily. If you click on it, it'll go right into uh, the paper and you're able to use it especially for your math worksheets when your students are drawing up different equations you can see in the box right the bottom right is currently being put with a lot of different symbols of course you can make it bigger as well and there we are those are your second set of creation tools we'll go over the comment tool in another video thanks for watching